Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infinite Learnopedia. In this video, let's discuss important MCQs for online exam on subject Web Technologies. This video covers topics Session and Cookies and User Authentication. Let's get started. First question is How many predefined variables does PHP use? To authenticate a user, answer is P, two variables. It uses two variables to authenticate a user. The variables are number one, dollar underscore server in square brackets PHP underscore authenticate user, and second one is PHP underscore AUTH underscore PW. Second question is, which of the following variables does PHP use to authenticate a user? Answer is C, that is option number 1 and 4. Dollar underscore server PHP authenticate user, number first option and last one. Dollar server PHP authenticate PW. This two store the username and password values respectively. Next one, which of the following PHP function is commonly used when handling authentication via PHP? Answer is 1 and 4, that is header and is set function. So here answer is A. The function is set is used to check whether a variable is set or not and the function header sends a raw HTTP header to a client. Let's move to the next one. Question 4. Which directive determines whether PHP scripts on the server can accept file uploads? Answer is A. That is file underscore uploads option. It is easy to upload files to the server with the help of this directory. Next one is if you want to temporarily store uploaded files in the temp php uploads directory which one of the following statement will you use answer is a that is upload underscore temporary underscore directory next one is which function is used to determine whether the file was uploaded answer is b is underscore uploaded underscore file function. It checks whether the specified file is uploaded via HTTP post. Next one, which one of the following is the very first task executed by a session unable to page? Answer is C, to check whether a valid session exists or not. The session variables are set with the PHP global variable, which is dollar underscore session. The very first task executed by a session unable to page is to check whether a valid session exists or not. Next one is which function is used to verify whether a variable contains a value? Answer is D that is is set function. It determines whether a variable has been assigned a value. Next one is which function is used to split a string into series of substrings with each boundary is determined by a specific separator. Answer is C, explode function. Next one, which one of the following is the default PHP session name? Answer is A. You can change this name by using session.name directive. Next one is, which function is used to erase all session variables stored in the current session? Answer is D. This function is used before session underscore destroy function to free all the session variables that is currently registered. This will not completely remove the session from the storage mechanism. If you want to completely destroy the session, session underscore destroy function destroys the function completely. Next one, which one of the following statements should you use to set the session username to Nachi. Answer is B. 
you need to refer the session variable that is username in the context of dollar underscore session super global. Next question is which function effectively deletes all sessions that have expired? Answer is D session handler scope resolution operator GC. This function is used to clean up expired session. Next one is the session underscore start function must appear. Answer is D that is before the HTML tag. For example, opening of PHP, session underscore start function and with semicolon, close of PHP and then comes the HTML tag. So it should be before HTML tag. Next one is which one of the following function checks for the existence of DNS records? Answer is C. Check DNS RR. It is used to check DNS records for type corresponding to host. Let's move ahead to the question 16. What is the full form of DNS? Answer is D. Domain name system. It is the way that internet domain names are located and translated into internet protocol IP addresses. For example, if someone types abc.com into the web browser, our server behind the scenes will, will map that name to the IP address. So this is the IP address format. Question 17. What is the default port number of HTTPS? Answer is B. So the default port number is 80 and HTTPS uses port number 443. Question number 18. When you use the dollar underscore get variable to collect data, the data is visible to answer C everyone. The information sent from a form with the method get is visible to everyone. All the variable names and values are displayed in the, in the URL. Question 19. The attack which involves the insertion of malicious code into a page frequented by other users is known as answer is C cross site scripting. So the attack is called as cross site scripting. This is one of the top 5 security attacks carried out across the internet. It is also known as XSS. This attack is a type of code injection attack which is made possible by incorrectly Validating user data which gets inserted into the page through a web form or using an altered hyperlink. Next one, which one of the following should not be used while sending passwords or other sensitive information? Answer is A. Get. Get method. It is visible to everyone. So all that is all variable names and values are displayed in the URL. So it should not be used while sending passwords or other sensitive information. Next question is to validate an email address which flag is to be passed to the function filter underscore var. So the answer here is A that is filter underscore validate underscore email. This validates an email address. Next question, when you use the dollar underscore post variable to collect data, the data is visible to answer is B, only you. The information sent from a form with the method post is invisible to others. That is all variable names and values are embedded within the body of the HTTP request. Next one. Which variable is used to collect form data sent with both the get and post methods? Answer is D dollar underscore request. This super global variable collects data after submitting an HTML form. Question 24. The cookie manipulation is done using which property? Answer is A cookie. So this property sets or returns all variable names and value pairs of cookie in the current document. 
Next one, what is the constraint on the data per cookie? Answer is C, that is 4 KB. Browsers allows many more than 300 cookies total, but the size limit is 4 KB. Last question is, cookies were originally designed for? Answer is B, server-side programming. Cookies are data stored in small text files on your computer. They, they were designed for server-side programming at the lowest level. Implemented as an extension to the HTTP protocol. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to Infinite Learnopedia channel. Keep learning and keep watching.